foreclosure crisis, a local husband and wife are in shock after their second home in Florida was foreclosed on even though their mortgage was paid off. New at 6, the couple is now in a long drawn out court battle to get back what they lost. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live with their story. When it comes to living the American dream, owning your own home is right up there at the top of the list. But a New Bedford couple's American dream has become an appalling nightmare. Maria and Charlie Cardozo consider themselves among the lucky ones. Hard work and patience had paid off. They had managed to buy not only a home in New Bedford, but also a second home in Spring Hill, Florida, near Tampa. They even were able to pay off the mortgage. But then their dream suddenly went horribly wrong. I'm very nervous of everything that happened. Nervous about what? Embarrassed. Embarrassed. The Cardozos are embarrassed that their neighbors down in Florida now think of them as deadbeats. In a $1.5 million lawsuit, their lawyers are accusing Bank of America of foreclosing on their house by mistake. They say the bank wrote down the wrong address on foreclosure paperwork and then wouldn't listen when the couple tried to get the mistake corrected. The couple's lawyers say the house the bank meant to foreclose on is down the street a bit. Meantime, the bank changed the locks and took possession of the Cardozo's house, removing everything inside. After being told by Mr. Cardozo and after being told by their own realty agency company that that, that was not the correct house, they went and foreclosed. Uh, my client... Why? That's a million dollar question. I, I can only say that it's the arrogance of a bank. Since yeah. that happened, I've been very nervous. I can't sleep. It's like a nightmare. I've been very nervous. Personal damage, you know... Psychotic damage. Because we suffered. Uh, you know, they don't want to fix it. They were held out to their community in Florida as deadbeats. What people could see from the outside was that they were being foreclosed upon, that they didn't pay their bills. <laughs> They're coming back and quit. Break my heart. <laughs> We contacted Bank of America and got a one-sentence email in response. Quote, Bank of America does not discuss or comment on pending litigation. Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.